What's up, guys? Uh, Parking Lot Panda here, back at it for another reaction. Holy crap. The response I got to that Spirit Box video that I put out. I recorded another one in that session. Um, I believe it was Rotoscope. Uh, but the amount of people that said I have to see the Mara effect live at Silverside Sound. Yeah, okay. Uh, that many people telling me I need to listen to it, I'm going to listen to it. Um <laughs> Thanks for all the comments, guys. This has been really cool. Uh, I understand why people do this and try to grow a community. I'm very excited to see where this goes. I'm also excited to hear a live performance. Um, one of my favorite bands is Nightwish, and their live stuff far exceeds their studio stuff. And I'm starting to get the feeling that Spirit Box may be similar to that. Uh, we're going to see today. Um, without further ado, uh, let's get into this. I'm very, very excited. Hopefully my audio is a little bit better. I did some tweaking. We'll see uh, see how that goes. for a good place to pause and i don't think i found a good one but i have to pause holy cow that's cool i've got goosebumps already and we're not even two minutes into this song this is a 16 minute video i'm gonna try my best not to pause but uh, if you haven't got it already i like to talk about stuff that i'm noticing it seems like you guys like that stuff too um and right off the bat the effect the reverb whatever they've got set up on that microphone that makes her voice sound like it's in a concert hall is unreal. That is so cool. And the drummer, the tone that they have on the drums, the tone on the bass, the guitar, the whole thing. This is really, really, really good um, for a live thing. This is dope. Um, I'm going to back up a little bit and let her get back into that. I, uh, Yeah, this is cool. This is very cool. not pause holy cow that is awesome and so i've listened to two or three songs from her now so i i know that she's got the crazy gutturals too and she's got this crazy range but it's so cool to hear her very very clean tones with the crazy changes that are happening in the rest of the instrumental section a that guitarist who i believe Oh, don't castrate from me. I believe they said that's her husband. 
um, there was a comment on the last video that said that uh, she would say they are a man reared band, not a woman fronted band. It's very funny. I like that a lot. Um, yeah, there's a lot of talent in this. I don't know how I haven't checked this out earlier. Golly. Oh, so she can get up there. Would you like she to say hello to the people? She can get way up there. Whoa. You want to say hello to the people? This is my distraction currently. Do you want to say hello? You're not interested? You big baby. Here. You want over there. I know that's where you want. Holy crap. I got to back that up just a little bit. Um, I know I'll pause at a bad time again. I, I said I'm not going to pause a lot. This is going to be a 30-minute video. It's already seven minutes, and we're not even three and a half through the song. Dude, this is impressive. We're back up just a touch. We have scored cat. You can play, holy crap. There's that little backing tracks back. All right, all right. I know we're about to get into something really cool. I just gotta stop for a second. Um, this is giving me periphery vibes and dream theater vibes. This is awesome. Um, I am a huge, huge periphery dream theater, Coheed and Cambria. And this is like, there's little pieces in here from all of those things. And, uh, I don't know how I miss this. Uh, I know they're a recent band and that's probably why, um, cause being on the road so much, I don't catch a lot of the new stuff. Um, I have only caught bits and pieces of the new Coheed, um, Cody and Cambria album and I've got a tattoo of them <laughs> so uh it tells you a little bit how out of touch I am I guess this is incredible uh I mean 
I keep saying I'm going to try to stop pausing so much, but holy cow, I, I just have to talk about it. It's awesome. The video is also really well done. Very well done. Good time to pause. Um, it's given uh, satellites by periphery vibes. That's what I couldn't connect earlier. Uh, if you have not heard satellites by periphery, it's kind of uh, Spencer Satello, the lead vocalist, is swan song, and this is very in that vein. They're showing off. It, it's they're showing off how tight this band is. This is incredible. Um, the changes in the rhythms. It's it's very gent. It's very prog. It's uh i yeah this is really cool this is right up my alley like uh thank y'all for the ones who recommended this this is dope sorry i'm not being very entertaining i got sucked in there and just i couldn't think of anything to say this is dope this is really good it's definitely going on the driving playlist that's for sure
Something's happening. Oh, don't do that to me. Come on. Sorry, quick pause. Uh, the boy was trying to climb across my computer. Um, Y'all can't be setting up for such a pivotal moment and then just drop out like that. Like, yeah, no, come on. This has got to hit a peak. It's been building to it the whole time. in a different song completely. Whoa. Killer. Yeah, so this is completely different from the other two songs that I listened to. This is way more pulled back. It almost feels intimate. Um, this is also a lot closer to the prog that I usually listen to in terms of it. Uh, it's being kind of more chill and uh, there's a lot. There's a lot to this. I, I can't think of much to say because there's just there's so much to this. The bass is incredible. Everything's incredible. This is dope. 
Uh, I'm going to have to listen to this probably four or five more times before I uh, can fully grasp what the meaning is on it. I can't even wrap my head around the lyrics right now. I'm listening across to everything. Um, but man, yeah, this is really cool. This is really cool. Goosebumps are back. Sweeps are sick. Now it feels like an end this moment song. Whoa. God almighty. Wow, I can't uh, think of much else to say, but wow, that was a that was a trip, man. Holy cow, that was really good. Um, it very, very much reminds me of a whole bunch of things. It, I get pick up little pieces of periphery and little pieces of you know stuff that you'd hear in Prague, you know, like some Coheed stuff, some of the more experimental stuff, and then. Uh, the vocals, I can't help but draw similarities to uh, Maria Brinkov in this moment. And uh, yeah, that's it's just incredible. It's uh, I definitely, definitely regret not picking up on these guys sooner. I am going to be checking out way more of their discography. Um, I think I'm going to do another one that I saw a lot of people were interested in was Circle With Me. So I'm going to check that one out next. Um, but I also want to not fall into the trap of becoming a spirit box uh, reaction channel. Um, I want to get into some more stuff too. Um, so that's where you guys come in. Uh, if you have anything else that's kind of in this vein, I know that someone uh, requested some Devin Townsend. I believe it or not have never listened to Devin Townsend before. Don't don't come for me in the comments um so uh definitely going to check out some of that um yeah i what else can i say about this this is awesome this is already a 30 minute video if you guys have stayed around this long uh drop a subscribe if you think i've earned it maybe a like and leave a comment i really want to continue doing these i'm having a lot of fun uh and yeah, I want to get into some more stuff too. So far, it's been a lot of metal. I'd like to get into some more, uh, just different types, some more indie, some more, uh, stuff that I wouldn't usually listen to. Um, 
one of the things that I don't listen to nearly at all is rap and hip hop. And I'd like to explore some of that and uh, see why it is that so many people like it. So if you have any recommendations in that realm, maybe uh, shoot them my way. So other than that, I'm going to get on out of here. I got another video I want to record and got some editing to do. Uh, I'm going to try to get more videos out. Um, but again, I'm a truck driver, so I'm on the road a lot. I don't have a lot of time at home. And uh, the time I spend doing this can only be done while uh, my wife's at work because I very much want to be spending time with her. Um, but with that being said, I do want to do more of these. I think it's worth it. I'm enjoying it. And uh, yeah, I'll leave it there. See you guys in the next one. Peace.